Liam, it's finished three one to Gates. An interesting game, really. A strange start with two on two nil down very quickly, and uh, we came back into it. Yeah, um, the front two have actually destroyed us for the first mm. twenty minutes, um, and and it's funny because you you listen to people about Gateshead play really good football, which they do, by the way. But that that wasn't what it is. They just kept on turning us and putting it in behind, and uh, we we just couldn't handle Langstaff and Scott. Uh, but I'm not surprised that the two of them are country mile the best two strikers I've come across this season. I'd say two of them are country mile the best two strikers have come back in a long time. So, uh, you know, Gates is really lucky to have them here. Uh, take nothing away. As I said, I think they've been the best team of the season by a mile, by a country mile. They deservedly win the league, but they have, in my eyes, they have won the league. It's good as said, uh, yeah. and, and fair play, fair play to Mike. And, and as assistant, they've done an incredibly good job. They've recruited really well. They've got good footballers. They play their own system. They mix the play up. Um, but on the flip side, for 20 minutes, they murdered us. But you must have re been pleased with the reaction that the lads did. They could, the heads could have gone down, and couldn't they? Well, we had to. You changed sorry. it very quickly, didn't you? Well, I've quickly figured out. I saw Charlie Munro off for lack of discipline. He's had a kick on the floor at someone, which is an absolute scandal. I said it's a disgrace, it wasn't that type of game. Uh, I think it was a cop out, we've had it done to us the other week, he's filed. I said I'm not going to condone it, so that's why I took him off. Jack was uh, struggling a little bit with blisters <laughs> and he's struggling with Longstaff's pace. Uh, and Michael Carberry has, has actually dropped in there and actually done really well. But it was, we did want to see Michael Carberry one step forward, and it, that was the, uh, going into the game. Um, but what I will say, I'm proud in the fact of the players, they showed tremendous character. I think they had long spells and more than matching gate set. I thought the last, we scored a really good goal and then I think the last 20 minutes we were the better team. Uh, nothing really actually created an awful lot to actually say well we could have scored in the last 20 minutes but we had territorial wise we were, you know, we had them camped in. Second half I actually thought the first 15 we started really well and I thought yeah, um, obviously Chris Doyle's then got a knock. Which, yeah, not really. yeah, so that, that resulted in another change of personnel and, and to be fair Blackett's gone and got another great finish which he did against us <laughs> early in the season so you know all credit to Gates said it, it you know they've been a credit to the, the league um, and, uh, and uh, as Jeff has just reminded me early on I did say after about the third or fourth game of the season they're by far the best team and if you finish above Gates said you, you've won it, I said, no one has, so uh, you know, all credit to them um, and I'd like to also thank our fans, you know, I know a lot turned out on Wednesday for the cup final but you know, the ones who came, they stayed by us, they stuck by us, which is uh, really, really appreciating, you know, I said we've got two two games now, we just want to finish, get a win in the league and then just, you know, actually, but what I will say, I said, you, you did say, see us play some good football yeah. in spells today. I think that's it, after the first like, say, like 15 minutes we all thought, oh my goodness, what's going to happen here but you, you changed it very quickly and we could have gone in level because I'm pretty it was pretty close to being onside Jordan's uh, attempted goal I'll have to yeah. watch it again well we can't tell whether it was onside or whether it was offside it was a well work yeah and but that, that's the other thing Jordan Archer's now got 20 goals this season mm. so that tells you we've got one who's regularly putting the ball in the net we just haven't got two yeah. you know you turn out the gate so they've got three that's what we need well in fact they've got four if you say Campbell's chipped in with goals and Blackhead and Longstaff and Scott the ball. So we've got to score more goals. Uh, but as you said, we could have easily, easily been 2 0 down here and, the, and they've got ahead of steam up. We could have actually really, really disappeared out of sight. Yeah. And we didn't. So I've got to give the players credit for that. Uh, you know, as you said, they, they are a good group, they're a good bunch and they've dig, dug in. I said, but take that away. You know, we've been beaten by a better team. So yeah. all credit to Gates said. Uh, we we hope them, wish them all the best in the next level, and I'm sure they'll be a really really good side in the in the league above. Yeah. Now we move on to Telford on Monday, which is still an interesting game for them, isn't it? Really, because they're still in the mix at the bottom. I think guys that have lost today. So, uh, but it's a game we, we could do with a win, couldn't we? Just to get a home win at the end of the season. Of course we don't. Listen, Telford obviously and the situation they are. Listen. Trust me, Telford was a really, really difficult job for Paul and Carl. Yeah. Really difficult. Yeah. And on the onset going in, for them, keeping them up was a fabulous achievement. Mm -hmm. They haven't done it yet, but I think they're nearly there. Yeah. I said yeah. so, you know, from that point of view. Andy, who's now the owner and the chairman, you know, uh, I inherited Andy when I went there as the manager, as my goalkeeping coach. And then Andy's dad was the main benefactor of uh, at. Uh, mm -hmm. 
Telford win, lovely man. Uh, Wayne passed away, and then obviously the, the run of the club fell to Andy and his, his brother Steve. So the club's in really good hands. It, it, it's a really good football club. Yeah. They're nice people, lots of people. And as I said, I've watched them a couple of times this season, and Paul's turned into a decent side. Mm -hmm. uh, they probably had a little wobble late on, but haven't we all? I said it, it, it's, it's a strange league. Um, it's tough to come by wins, but you're always in games. Uh, and I'm not sure, I think they've got the three points there, the guys, aren't they, with. Um, yeah, guys have lost today. Um. Yeah, guys have lost today. I said, um, you know, I said, but um, if I look at it and say, well, you know, I think Paul, Paul and Carl have got a little bit more now. I would have thought than what's in the Geisley bench. So mm -hmm. I, I, can, I can see them getting over the line. Yeah. Well, unfortunate today, Liam. I think, as I say, after a few minutes, we all thought, oh goodness, what's going to happen here? But all credit to the lads for coming back. Yeah, no problem. We'll just make sure we try and get a win in the last two. Brilliant. Thanks, Liam. All right. Thanks.